Hey, I'm Danny with Retro Camera Review, and today I'm here with my friend and New York City artist, Daniel Williams, who does large format photography, at least right now. Uh, so what are we going to be photographing today, Daniel? Walls and constructed environments. How much does all your gear weigh? Uh, I don't know. It's like a small air conditioner, maybe. I've never put it on a scale. I mean, right now I'm working with what feels like a thousand megapixels, depending on how you look at that. And I make such huge prints, I need that resolution. You know, digital just hasn't caught up to that. But when it does, this is going in the dumpster. Um, I just really like this nondescript construction wall and the light hitting it. But I'm pissed off a little because this car is in the way. I mean, it doesn't always happen, but you know. Got it. This isn't nearly as exciting as, I guess, sneaking into places, but since there's two of us, I have to, you know, restrain myself. And I'm not dressed for sneaking into places today. I was at the MetLife building. Um, I had seen a wall, like, in the lobby that I really liked. And I set up my camera, and this lady came up, this security guard, and she said, um, you can't be drilling holes in the floor right here, sir. I was like, oh, it's a camera. And she's like, there is no photography here. I just sort of like did these hand motions or whatever, like over the side, like, oh, what about that? And um, she got out of the way and I hit the shutter. <laughs> she went to get on her walkie talkie, but her walkie talkie was dead. <laughs> Do you like taking pictures of uh, people? Uh, not usually. Well, I think people photographed a certain way can lend too much affinity. I like to take pictures of something that could be anywhere. So you have any tricks for like when somebody's acting really self-conscious? Like they'll just be standing up straight or whatever and I'll say like can you move make your legs straighter? Like one third it or whatever. They won't really do anything but I'll say oh that's good. <laughs> and, um, yeah like that but sort of like lean forward a little. Bend your shoulders back like that. Okay, just like that. Three, two, one. Okay. Farther. Like that. Okay, now open your eyes really wide. Okay, three, two, one. Got it. Do you see yourself just being like a fine art photographer in the future, or is there any sort of commercial side to the photography for you? Um, I don't think I'm actually psychologically capable of doing um, <laughs> commercial sellable like photography for businesses or whatever. Oh, you want to be a teacher? Yeah, I mean, I really like that yeah. environment or whatever, like you can continually discuss art. Right. Well, I never have projects, I just have like a continuous I guess interest. I'm very picky, I guess, about what I take pictures of. Um, since it is film and everything, but also I hate, you know, having spent any time on something that I don't actually like. Why are we on Fifth Avenue? I don't know. <laughs> this is stupid. This is kind of cute, but I wish I had, like, a polarizer. Well, it's cute because there's those little spikes on it, and, um, especially that the window's papered up, so you can't really tell, like, anything about the place or whatever. Yeah, I love it. Um, I've taken a couple of pictures here, specifically in, like, the lobby with the limestone walls. 
And just over here is where I took the one picture that I ended up printing. Um, well, something that I like about New York, and or specifically, is that it has so many of these places like concentrated with one area. I've seen a lot, but I'm constantly finding new stuff. Done. If you want to see more of his work, you can visit his website at thisket.com. T-H-I-S-K-E-T. Yes. And uh, stay tuned for more retro camera reviews, because uh, we have a lot more exciting stuff coming up. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.